Hi. Now let's look at the basics of the music settings. Okay, so let's start with this octagon and hit play. So we can make this octagon sound like whatever we want by clicking the music tools and then selecting something from the music picker here. So let's take a low tom instead. Let's listen to a duck. If you don't want the note to change as it goes around, you can turn this feature called arpeggiation off. If you want to change the starting note itself, you can go down to note and type in a different note, like G. You can also type numbers in here. If you type in zero, it goes to C. If you type in one, it would go to C sharp or D flat. Two gets us to D. Four goes to E. Just to dive a little bit deeper on how the notes work, say you have a note of D. That's D here. And you can see the same note is actually labeled as two here. This is a chromatic way of labeling notes. If we start at C with zero, so C would be zero in this system, every note, every other note follows by one up from that note. So C is zero, D flat would be one, E flat would be three, a flat might be 8, then C is 12 again. So 0, 12, C, C. So if we typed in 12 to here, we get the same note. The last two features to note would be the tempo. So the tempo is currently set to 1, but let's say we set it to 2. Or we could set it to 4. Or a half would go even slower than the beginning value. We can also change the volume. That's pretty loud. Make it much softer. And so that sums up the basic music features of the tiles.